All right, so I'm feeling very tired right now. So I've basically just spent the entire day, almost, just thinking essentially, just thinking about like how to structure the database. And this is something that's kind of embarrassing because I don't know this well enough. And that means that I have to really think things through because the way the database is structured, I think is gonna impact a lot, like, uh, or is very important to get right straight away because it's very difficult to change things uh, after it's been published, I think. Please correct me if I'm wrong, I don't know, but I feel like if people start saving their workouts and then all of a sudden uh, there's a new feature that I wanna add that requires uh, the workouts to be added in a different way, then that's gonna make things super complex. And so I have to really sit down and think through like what is the vision of the app and what is the entire structure gonna be like it's very difficult to film because it's not super interesting. I'm literally just think sitting here thinking and like writing down different thoughts and trying to structure things. And it's also just like such like I have to, I don't know, I, I'm not used to doing it. So it makes it really difficult. But I think I'm getting close to like having uh, a good structure, I guess, to this, uh, to the database. But it means that I have to restructure some things that I've already done and uh, that was something that I was expecting and I've been putting this off for way too long just because I don't know how it works properly so I've just been like procrastinating on actually doing this but now it's like almost 12 p.m. I usually go to bed at around 10 p.m. so I'm gonna have a shower now and then go to bed and we'll see you in the morning. All right, so I'm on my way to actually record a podcast and uh, it's a new podcast that I'm starting with a couple of friends and it's going to be called The Exit Strategy and you'll find it anywhere you find podcasts. I'll link it in the description, all that sort of stuff. We're actually going to be filming it as well. So there'll be a YouTube channel where, where you can actually watch the podcast. And essentially the podcast is going to be just like an extension of my YouTube channel. And I don't know like how many people have caught on to this yet, but my YouTube channel right now, I'm focusing 100% on just getting my app finished, this workout tracking app that I'm building. To me, that's something that I would wanna watch myself. I just keep thinking about like, imagine if the Spotify founders, for instance, imagine if they had like a YouTube series where you could just follow their whole journey from idea and then how they took that to where it is today. And so that's something that I wanna to try to create myself, even though I'm not saying that my startup is going to be like Spotify or anything like that. It's just that something that I think I would want to watch myself. Someone building out a startup and just like, what are they going through? What are their thoughts about it? And how do they tackle the different problems? What are the different problems that you run into? And so the podcast is then going to be a way more in-depth documentation of this startup journey. And the two people that I'm doing this with are two friends uh, that are going to be helping me out with this startup. We're going to be doing it together, essentially. I'm recruiting them as like co-founders. And uh, one of them has actually had a startup himself and taking it to the point of like going to investors actually and like talking to investors. And I think he even got to the point of like getting seed money. I'm not really sure uh, of the terminology, but I think you call it seed money. Uh, so he actually has some experiences. So we're gonna go into that as well and explore his background. So yeah, now I'm gonna go record it, but here's a little snippet from the first episode. It's already, it's, already it's already made. made. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's already oh, made. That's like that's like a huge detail. <laughs> it's just left out. It sounds it sounds like you go up to like an unmade bed and you're like, oh, of course I need to make it because it's like all rough. But no, the what you walk up to is a perfectly made, made bed, bed and I'll make and you're it again. Like, oh, I need to remake this because I didn't make it well enough in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, just, that's such a vital part of that story. <laughs> just I was trying to leave it. I was trying to leave it. <laughs> All right. Good morning. It is such a nice day out today. Have a look. Anyway, now it's the only thing that's left is really to 
get this to actually like to actually implement the code. Right now I've written down the structure for it and the only thing left is to actually do the coding. And uh, also, actually, I'm happy to report that I've actually received the new Galaxy S22 Ultra. And I have to say I'm crazy impressed with the capabilities of this phone, especially like that. It's got a 108 megapixel camera. Have a look at these four photos that I shot. As a person who makes videos, this range in terms of lens options is just crazy. If you compare the zoomed in shots and the wide angle shots, I feel like you wouldn't even be able to tell that these two photos are in the exact same place. I'm very impressed with the camera and I'm definitely gonna be using that zoom lens for some time lapses in my videos. They also have a four nanometer processor with 45 watt fast charging and a 5,000 milliamp battery to last you well past a day of use. Then we have the S Pen, which comes out of the phone with a really satisfying clicking mechanism. Along with the 120 hertz screen, this pen is just super smooth. I was just going to record myself scribbling, but ended up doing a complete drawing because it felt so nice. If you wanna see more about the enhanced performance of the phone yourself, then you can go check it out at samsung.com and get yourself a Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra so you can experience the performance yourself. So yeah, thank you to Samsung for being a long-term partner of this channel and sending me all this fun stuff and for sponsoring this video. All right, so now I need to get back to work. And uh, if you're at home right now just thinking like, please don't do another coding montage, then you know I would never... Money. So now we actually got it to work. It's uh, very difficult to show you actually in the code like what I've done, but I have managed to structure the database. Uh, and if you wanna actually see the details of it, you can actually watch me do it live over on my Live Coder channel, uh, which I don't really recommend because it's not super interesting. I'm just basically spending a lot of time thinking about like, okay, how am I gonna structure this? And then just writing like a couple lines of code, but a few of you have been asking me to uh, live stream as I'm building this startup out. So I'm gonna start trying to do that more. Uh, but now we have the database structure set up so that it will work for the future iterations of the app, the vision that I have for it, uh, which essentially means that at some point in the future, you will be able to take someone else's workout and then do it for yourself or make a workout for someone else. Uh, which is great. And now the final thing is just like, there's a couple bugs that I need to fix uh, before the pre-alpha. I could probably release it as a pre-alpha actually the way that it is right now, but I feel like that is not, I don't know, I don't think people would want to use it the way that it is now because I know there's a couple bugs that I definitely need to fix in order to for the app to be like decently usable. Uh, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do next week. And also, don't forget to check out the podcast. Uh, all right, that's it for this one. Bye.